What's up, I'm Vin, and today I want to derive the formula for the partial sum of a geometric series. So here's the formula we want to derive, and let's get started. To derive this formula, we have to know that for a geometric sequence, well, we have to be able to write out the nth term. So let's just write this out here. So we have for a geometric sequence, the nth term, a sub n, is equal to a times r to the n minus 1, where a represents the first term, and r is the common ratio. So if we just list the first few terms of the sequence, we'd have a, the next term would be a times r, because in a geometric sequence, to go from one term to the next, you just keep multiplying by the common ratio r. So if we multiply by r again, that would give us a r squared, then a r to the third, and then this would continue all the way down to the nth term. Let's say we stop here at m, at m minus 1. So we could continue this on forever, but let's say we want to just look up to n terms. So remember, this is our first term. Our second term would be a times r. And our third term would be a r squared, and our fourth term would be a r to the third. So this one here. And the trend to notice is that whatever term you're up to, the power of r is one less. So by the time we get to the n, you see here we would be up to the nth term, so the power of r would be n minus 1. So then when we want to find a formula for s sub n, s sub n is the partial sum of the first n terms. So that means we have to take the first n terms of our geometric sequence and add them together. So we'd have a plus a r plus a r squared plus a r to the third plus, and this would go all the way on to the end, to a r to the n minus 1. So to come up with the formula from the previous screen, what we want to do is we want to multiply everything here by r. So we're taking s sub n and we're multiplying everything by r. So the first term now would be a times r plus the second term, if we multiply by r, would be a r squared. And then the third term would be a r to the third. And you can see the trend here is when we multiply by r, all the powers of r just increase by 1. So this would be our first, second, third, and our fourth term would be a r to the fourth. So this would continue all the way to the end. And this time, our series would end at a r to the n power. So a r to the n minus 1 would now be the second to last term. And instead of starting at a, this series here would start at a times r. So then what we want to do is we're going to take these two equations and subtract them. So we're going to do s sub n minus r times s sub n. So we're subtracting here. And I'll put this bottom part in parentheses. And notice what happens when we subtract. Well, we have a times r minus a times r. So when we subtract equal things, they're going to cancel out. We have a r squared minus a r squared a r to the third minus a r to the third. We know this next term here is a r to the fourth, so that would cancel this one out. And then notice all the way at the end here, we stop at a r to the n minus 1. So when we subtract a r to the n minus 1, this cancels out. So the only thing that makes it is on the right side of the equal sign, we're going to have the first term a minus the last term a r to the n. So now the goal here is to come up with an equation for s sub n. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out s sub n. And we're going to be left with 1 minus r. And on the right side, we could factor out an a. And we're going to be left with 1 minus r to the n. So then all we have to do to solve for s sub n is just divide by 1 minus r. And here's our formula from the previous page. s sub n, the sum of the first n terms of our geometric sequence, can be found using this formula here. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on deriving the formula for the partial sums of a geometric sequence. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.